only wood they've put on is our front porch. Honey, I'm home. You sure are. You ready to move in? It's so warm in here. Hey Hender fam, I can't believe we are finally here. We are in our house. It was such a long journey and we are so excited to share this next chapter with you. During the whole home building process, we actually filmed a ton of the process before we started building all the way until it was finished. And a lot of that footage we never showed you guys. Just came to check on our lot and the foundation is poured. Bang. And this is the backyard right here. The yard goes clear up there and this is the edge of the property. The reason we kept a lot of this stuff to ourselves, when you start to build a home, it doesn't quite seem real right up front. So we kept a lot of that to ourselves until we actually got pretty much a framed home and that's when we started to show off what we had coming for you guys to see. Anyway, I'm gonna show you some of the footage that we got that we had never shown anyone and a little bit of the process and what it was like for us. Because a lot of the times when you build a house, it is not easy and believe me when I say this, it was a nightmare. <gasps> get away from there. Nixon, get away. Go that way. Although it did end positive, it started out really rocky. And we just kind of want to talk you through a couple of the stories that happened without getting too specific as we went through this building process. It's just no railing. With all that being said, here is our process and how it went building this new home. Haley and I started shopping around like two years ago because Nixon was getting older and we needed a bigger yard and he's crazy and he needs places to run. So that was the first step. The second step is we wanted a bigger garage to fit both of our cars in. That's Haley's garage, this is my garage. That's one thing that we're really excited about is garage space. We've had a two car garage in our last house. We always wanted a three car garage. Having one car here is so small that we're like, It'd just be, I mean, I'd always wish it was just a little bigger, so we just decided to do it. The one we did have was a two-car garage, but as we bought toys, it started to fill up and got a little bit too squishy. Oh, my hands with me! I want it We actually put in two offers to two other homes way before this house, and both of those houses, we got outbid in the bidding process, which sucks to be a part of, and it just broke our hearts. Then while attending our old ward, we were driving around and we saw a Toll Brothers sign, never heard of that builder before. And so we got super curious and drove up to their community and we fell in love with the area. We were like, this is it. And we were so early in the process that we were actually the first customer that Toll Brothers ever had in Utah. We gave them their first earnest check and was able to pick the first lot. This was in late January, early February of 2019. Do the math, that's 15 months because now it's June 2020. It typically takes between eight and 10 months to build a house, and that's pretty average. Eight is kind of fast, 10's a little bit slow. 15 months. We were told that we were probably gonna be moving in and closing in January of 2020, which was a year, probably like 11 months. It's a little longer than normal to build a house, but we were fine with that because we were, they did tell us up front we were gonna be their guinea pigs as they were trying to figure out these new plans that they had never built before. And let's just say Toll Brothers learned a ton from us. So quick recap, we did have to sell our house to make this happen. And back before we even found the Toll Brothers home, I went to Haley and I was like, hey, what if we sell our house and move into our town home for like three or four months? She's like, no, I am not moving back into the town home. It's hard to go backwards from what you had. So basically she was like, H&L. After some persuasion and talking to her about what could be, which, you know, a, a, a better house, we shook on it, she said, okay, deal. We didn't actually shake on it. But that's where the process actually got started. Oh my gosh! I'm so it's happy. Amazing. Oh, here comes pretty, set. <laughs> Did you get your rain boots? Yeah, mommy put them on. It all became real though, once we put our house up for sale. That was a really sad day. We've talked about it a hundred times. We were so attached to that house and it was hard to see that sign up and yeah. just be like, man, this is actually going down. I'm just gonna miss your cute room. Yeah. <laughs> I'm missing in this room. 
Yeah. Say bye. Bye to your first house. The house sold quick and we ended up getting more than we asked for. So that was a win. This was August of 2019. And by that point, the writing was on the wall that we were gonna be in our town home for a little longer than four months. It was a little more like six months, but we are still like, I think that's okay. We're gonna be fine. We can do this first world problems, right? We did the design process. There was a lot of issues we worked out there. They didn't even end up digging our hole until October of 2019. That's nine months after we gave him our earnest money. That's crazy. That's like when home should be done and we didn't even get a hole until okay, October. So I just came to drive up and our hole is all dug. Finally, we have our house. Okay, so this is our progress. It is October 12th, 2009. I'm 30 years old, <laughs> he is 28, and Nixon is three, Luca isn't even one. Oh man, when we see this in 10 years, we're gonna be like, wow, we were babies. But anyway, this is our hole. We're gonna walk around and check it out. I was super bugged because I have a huge pet peeve when it comes to squeaky floors. And so I was like, perfect. We get our house in January. They'll start framing in the summer. No snow, no rain to make our floors squeaky. Well, they started framing in October. They got our floor on in like the dead of winter. And so there were times where I actually went up to the property and I shoveled our main level floor. All right, so just got to our house and they laid the floor a couple of days ago and it snowed. So I never thought I'd be doing this, but I'm shoveling the main level of our house. So that'll be funny to look back on when everything's actually finished. The reason is when wood gets wet, it warps and it starts to squeak. Luckily, I took care of a lot of that. I was very, like careful as we were walking through the house to always find squeaks. I, we do have a couple, which is sad. Halfway through the framing process and all the issues we went up to to this point, and some of the things that happened with the employees within Toll Brothers and how they treated us, there was some turnover. Meaning people got fired, a couple people got let go. There was two people that came in, you know, they're higher ups in Toll. They packed up from Arizona and moved to Utah after I had spoken to one of them on the phone and told them our whole experience. They came in and completely flipped the whole process around. And so this was like halfway through our, our framing and their names, I, will name, I won't name the names of the people that got let go, but the names of the people that did turn it around, Scott and Patrick, amazing. They rocked it. So when they arrived, they kicked it into high gear, which was like January of 2020. And they actually laid out a whole timeline and said, guys, we are gonna get you in by June 11th, 2020. That is now to us a, hol a Henderson holiday. We'll call it that. Yeah. Hard to believe that that was gonna actually happen because of the experiences we were having. Let's just cut to the chase. They hit the date. Guess who's think that is? It's ours. <laughs> You're right. Scott and Patrick did weekly calls with us and they updated us on the process each week. And yes, there were bumps and bruises along the way. Ow, freaking A but it's all about communication. They were constantly in communication with us, which was lacking beforehand, where we would find things ourselves. They were right there with us, basically holding our hand, which is so important in any business, right? Just communication with your customers. And because of that, it went so much more smooth. We were, even though, yeah, we ran into issues, it was, it was so much better. We were happy, things got fixed, things were moving. Oh my gosh, look it up oh there. My Nick said it's starting to feel like home. That yeah. was the best. If any of you have built homes, you know this feeling when you're left in the dark and things aren't happening. You have to basically be the construction manager and that's what we were for the first six months. Finally, Patrick and Scott came in and they were handling everything so well. How did you get all the way up? I went up the stairs, silly boy. So during this crank out process, Haley and I actually kind of averaged out how many times we probably went up to the property with Nixon and Luca, easily over a hundred times especially during quarantine where there's just not a lot to do. It was like, let's just go up and see the house. Let's just go up and see the house like every night. Even our neighbors that are gonna be moving in in like a month, we see them every night. Cause it's just like, what are we gonna do with our kids tonight? Let's just go up and see the house. We were up there a lot. I'm gonna go look and see what's going on. All right, I'm gonna go look at the house without you. My windows look gray. Are you excited about those? Fast forward to June 11th, like I said, we did it. It's officially ours and we are officially home. We can officially call this place officially our house. 
Woo! They hit the date and we were in. First night in our house, we're so excited. Can't wait. Here's to the first of many videos made in this home. All the things we heard about Toll Brothers before we started with them in Utah were coming to be. Like they were actually, like the brand of Toll Brothers was showing up and this is like, okay, so this is actually why you guys have been in business for 50 years. They are an amazing company. It just took a lot of bumps and bruises and the brand to transfer from state to state is difficult. And so it took a good learning curve for them and a good year to get the process going. This is the best part right here. The shower. My goodness, what a process. There was a lot of patience living in our townhome for not four months, for not six months, for actually nine months. All the timing with tenants, getting new renters, us moving out, getting in our house, it all worked out and I knew it would. The biggest thing was just keeping Haley like understanding we were gonna do this because it was hard for her because she was spending every day in our townhome. And like we've said in other videos, it gets messy immediately. They get a couple toys out. So we were living in just a mess and so we were really excited, especially knowing what was coming. It was hard to be patient. It was kind of like that last month of being pregnant, which I wouldn't quite understand, but Haley does. And she said that is the longest time because you know what's coming and it's just waiting and waiting and sitting and waiting. And so that, that last month was tough, but hey, first world problems, we are here. We did it, we're patient. Toll Brothers was amazing. Scott, Patrick, shout out to you guys. You guys, ugh. You guys made us so happy. These are things that we're gonna remember for the rest of our lives. And that's cool about building a home with someone is you're basically starting a new chapter for someone. And to be able to go into that full swing, everyone's happy, it just is a win-win. Here is our double garage, garage, All right, living room. home update. Oh, it's looking really good, guys. We thank you guys, Toll Brothers. This is not sponsored by any means. I wish it was and they were paying for our house, but this is just our experience. This is what we went through. They started out bad, they ended it perfectly, which is I think if any thing starts out bad, you should always be able to end it on a high note. Make everyone happy. Toll Brothers, you guys rock. This Tyson sink, and there's Mama's sink. <laughs> Staying in our living room, the basement at least, and then kitchen, dining room, kitchen, garage, garage, flex room, bedroom right here. Do you guys have any other questions about the process and it, like you want us to get more specific about certain issues? Just let us know. We can kind of maybe talk about those things a little bit without mentioning names. Just put them in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are amazing. Thank you for being here. I know a lot of you want to do a house tour. We actually wanted to do that. It's not set up. We actually were going to start a house tour and Haley was like, no, we need decorations. I always joke that it's a fixer upper house, which is completely even stupid for me to even say because it's a beautiful house. But there's a lot of things we didn't upgrade from Toll Brothers that we we're going to do later to save some money. There's a lot of things we want to do, but that house tour will be coming. So stay tuned.